terrible reason to watch children, but... <gasps> Shut up. Oh, hello. I'm struggling to hold it. It's the weight of, like, a burger. The world's most magical celebration. Is what it says. And I believe it. of our Disney vlogs. My name is Rachel, if you are new. Myself and my lovely husband John, who is currently, currently holding a new <laughs> are from London, England, and we are here in Florida for our first ever Disney vacation. We are loving it already, so you're joining me now, but we have already been inside to the wonderful Raglan Road. It is an Irish pub. It is glorious. I'll hand back to my former self to take you through all that. Everybody, how's it going? to Raglan Road. I said hello! Hello! The real Irish book. It's so real. We haven't even ordered yet and we are having an incredible time. We I can't even the details. So we think we're gonna go for whiskey barbecue lollipop chicken and pull the box speed and share that as a main. But the brunch stuff looks amazing. And yeah, I was eyeing up the shepherd pie to die for, um, but we've eaten a lot of, of English breakfast on the ship that we just came off, so we're gonna leave that and maybe have our eye on this for afters. Walt's granddad was from Kilkenny. That's where my mum is from. Yes. <laughs> It is an unconventional day one for a Disney holiday. We are first in Disney Springs and then we're going to kick off with the other four parks. But we are loving it. Disney Springs is beautiful and we had a massive day at Universal yesterday so we're taking it easy today. But we are going to get to Magic Kingdom later. I've come Disney bounding as, well, if you've got my pearls and me, blue frock, can you get it? Disney bounding, if you're unfamiliar, is dressing up as a Disney character in a like sort of preferred way as adults aren't allowed to dress as Disney princesses or characters when in the parks in case kids get mixed up and that'll be a bit sad. We're gonna have a little potter around. Join us! We are in the virtual queue for the wonderful Gideon's Bakehouse. Can you see the size of these cookies? This is what I'm talking about. It is unreal. I'm enjoying this window display so much. It's a three hour, 20 minute wait, which if anyone in the UK is not familiar with Disney will be like, what? But it's a virtual queue, really clever. They text you when to come back, it's brilliant. Um, and Gideon's is hugely popular for their giant cookies and enormous slices of cake. Uh, so we're gonna 
we've registered and we are now free to explore the rest of the place. So just across the way is where you can, I believe, get the boats that are cars and you can drive out if you have seen that on the internet. It's really fun. They're quite expensive, but they look so much fun. Chuck Lindsay's hangar bar is over here. Uh, where we got it? There we go. Which is Indiana Jones themed. I love a good theming. We might end up popping in there for a drink and a smaller plate evening something or other. We are now approaching, I believe, the biggest in the world, I think, world of Disney. It is beautifully decked up for the 50th anniversary and for the holidays. It looks beautiful. I should threaten to go out for my sister, whose name is Joy. Look, that's how I look at you when we go skiing. <laughs> I've never seen so many ears. This is a quantity of ears that... I guess they're expected to get through. I've been after a hat for a while. I feel like this one is... It's not the one, but I do enjoy all this next florid badge. I've been looking for one. I meant to try and get it off Shop Disney. It was a blue one with Pixar uh, across the front in a fun way, and I didn't get it, and it's sold out. Hey, my name's Gabby Gabby. Oh, I feel like she needs to be, like, non-soft. But appreciations for these socks. I think these are fabulous. Mike Wazowski is one of my favorites. If you've seen other vlogs, you would have already seen me wearing my Mike Wazowski mask. We have reached the 50th anniversary selection section. I love the colors. The ear indescent, as in like the Mickey ears. You can only get two of these per customer, Nike and Disney. It's beautiful. It's nearly $50, I think. It is gorgeous though. Appreciation. Yes, please. All the yellow, all the things. 13. I'm the average height of a 12 year old. If I'm not Ariel, then I'm Meryl. I mean, that is a pretty fantastic dress for a little Cinderella. That one is up there at $70, folks. And I'm not going to say, I think my Disney bounding isn't too bad. This is a terrible reason to watch children, but hey ho. We've just passed Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique where you can go and be made into a pencil princess if you are a little one. Goofy's Candy Company is over there. We are now at what we have been looking for. These are Christmas. These are stunning. Wow. 99.99. Worth oh, it's stunning though. Our 50th anniversary much. They got a kid. Oh, that's dangerous. That's both our Florida trip and being on the Disney Magic earlier this year. That is very fun. That's so lovely. Look, you've got Woody and Buzz from the original. Oh, that's really cool. Ooh, that one is fun. I light up. How do you light up? Oh, shut up. That's very fun. Look, it is perfect. They've got the, just the one light working. Oh, the attention to detail again. Susan, thank you very much. How much are you, my friend? $25. Hmm. Let us consult, John. This is quite a fun one. You know the scene, you know the you know the moment, but we've also found these which I absolutely love. I think it might even be a real cassette. I wonder though if we might be able to do a DIY version of this one. Because that one is $23. And I think we're gonna take you home for Christmas. Come along now. Maybe brandish our, our wares. The deed is done. I'm a very happy lady. It's been quite challenging because I'm quite fussy. So to have seen something we're both like, yes, is a joy. So we're doing well. Also one that isn't glass. We have Mickey and Fantasia made at a Lego, which looks super special. But the queue to get into the Lego store is quite something. So we might just be appreciating this from the outside. On one of our cancelled holidays to Disney World in the distant past, we did have a reservation for T-Rex. I understand it is Rainforest Cafe vibes, if you're familiar with that, uh, with dinosaurs. But we managed to get Raglan Road. So I think of the two, I'm very happy we managed to do that. So thanks to John for being on it for those reservations. Definitely go with like our Syrahs, our Tempranillos. Uh, you can do a nice big cab. I'm winning all the wife points. <laughs> 
because I've taken my husband to a fancy wine bar. It's great. Uh, so we were taking through all of their different wines. There is a lot. And the guy's are really knowledgeable, so you could kind of basically do a flow diagram of what you wanted. It's a uh, Syrah called Camus. 2018. Very smooth. Our mac and cheese bites have arrived. Hello. These were really good. Have been selected on a recommendation, so we'll see how we get on. Oh, hello. What do you make? Let me ask someone. One by George. That was great. That was really fun. And again, teetotaler here. I vicariously enjoyed John enjoying that particular fancy pants wine and those mac and cheese bites were real good very happy camper good news the Gideon's Bakehouse cookie queue virtual queue which was three hours 20 has dropped to three hours and has sent us a text and we are here um, we have their menu and we are eyeing up the November offerings which quite frankly look fabulous the queue is now up to five hours so we're glad we got in when we did. We're gonna see what's inside. I asked for the gargoyle's name, but no luck. It is fun in here. I wish you could smell what I could smell. It's amazing. These guys, these guys know a thing or two about how to cakes and cookies. Hello. Look at that. So this is the butter crunch right Wonderful. here. Wonderful. Thank you. Grace, thank you so much. I feel like I've just raided a bank. I'm running away with cookies. It's good, people. It's good. Look, 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 look. It's magic in there. They've created such an atmosphere. Massive respect to them. Uh, we were served by the lovely Lex. It was really exciting and nice and fun interactions. John kindly put our order through, which we went in the end for the Cavalera cookie, uh, which is. Chocolate churro cookie is a month long celebration of the day of the dead. It's got cayenne pepper, cinnamon, hot chocolate vibes. So we're gonna see how that one goes on. I was, I'm normally a triple chocolate girl, but we thought we'd go for that one. And then John's gone peanut butter crunch. We are of course gonna have shares of each. And the peanut butter nitro cold brew. I don't think I've ever had a cold brew. Oh, really? Cool. We just caught a car coming back in out from the lake. Super fun. That looks like a whole part of enjoyment right there. But, right, cookies. I can't believe these are half a pound each. As in like, wait if you're in the UK. Okay, so we've got the peanut butter cold brew. John is loving that. This is the Cavalera, only available in November. Look how sparkly it is, it's so fun. And the peanut butter crunch. These are huge, like literally. Can you see how big that is? That is like, literally, like, I'm struggling to hold it. It's the weight of like a burger. Moment of truth. Let's get this, this guy. This is amazing. Really interesting flavour. Yeah. So you said it was a bit smoky. I get that. Stay in a bit. Did you see these? They look like we haven't eaten any of it, but we've honestly had half of each cookie between us. And we enjoy them very much. I really like the warmth and heat of that Cavalier in my throat. Very fun. We're gonna go to Magic Kingdom. It's happening, folks. We are walking towards the ferry boat. We could have done the monorail, which is also there, as we've come to the ticket and transformation, transformation, transportation centre. It was really easy from Disney Springs. It was about ten pounds, however much that is in dollars. Um, and wherever it says when you go on Uber to put in Magic Kingdom and Disney Springs, it was the correct places. And then it drops you off here, and then you get the last bit of the way in. <gasps> look, 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 look! You can see it across the lake. I don't think you can see it on the on the video, but whoa! Oh man, I didn't know you could see it from here. So this was the boat that one of our Uber driver's daughter, Belle, drives. I don't know if she's driving this one, but it feels nice to have a connection. Oh, actually, docking. It's probably too dark to see, but there is uh, Mickey and Minnie with a lovely boat. For the 50th, it actually has a candle on top. And then you've got the beautiful Magic Kingdom, the monorail station, the world's most magical celebration, is what it says. And I believe it. <laughs> that tree! I've watched, I've watched the Disney Plus programs, I've seen them transforming this place into the holiday magic. And it is a big tree. I mean, it looks tiny, it looks like nothing, but take my word for it. 
It's so much bigger than Paris. <laughs> wow. 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 I'm so glad we came at night. It is yeah. roughly magical. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Wow! This is stunning! It is utterly gorgeous! Here it comes! We're getting there! That is... It's not going to look anything anything like what I can see but I will endeavour to show you. I mean... That is something. <laughs> we get this memory for the rest of our lives. Leave it actually. We came in about seven ish, gone, seven fifteen. And we have got a little space and uh, it was it's super round. So clearly an hour before is nowhere near enough. But I guess it is a Saturday, so uh, we are very very grateful for where we've got to and I have got pavement in front of me instead of people which for me who is so small and usually cannot see anything I'm really thankful conventional way of doing our first day in Disney. So we have got time to go explore the park as it is getting quieter. Uh, it is Mickey's very merriest Christmas party which we don't have tickets for starting I think 9 or 10 but we got Tam so we're gonna go do a bit of the park. I mean that's reality like this is this how is this happening? It's me it's me with the castle <laughs> Can I just have a moment? I want a truller cooler. Oh, oh, look at the details. Look at this. Monsters of Cali. Amazing. Look what John has just spotted. Look. You can't see Mike again. But he's, he's on a poster. <laughs> <laughs> From the monster world back into the human world. Wow. That was so fun. I mean, I feel like that is a tough gig to make something funny for everyone. But it was great. I think it was like a 12 minute kind of get everyone in pre show. And then you sit down for another 12 minutes for a show, which was genuine. I was probably laughing. It's a really fun use of. Uh, they do it sometimes before concerts where they will zoom in on someone and make them part of it. And I think I think people were up for it. So I don't think you need to be like scared in that it was it was a very warm and fun. Nothing was horrible or scary or anything. Adults got involved, kids got involved. It was really really fun uh, and really funny. Like properly, I was like laughing out loud through it. Um, I mean, I love Monster Sync, so I find that whole thing funny anyway. So. I guess if you enjoy that, then you'll enjoy that, that show. The but theming of the queue was lovely. Yes. I really enjoyed that. That was exceptional. I did feel like I was in the, in the monster world, which is exactly what I want to feel. That would have been a great pit stop in the massive Florida heat. So, I mean, it was just a nice sit down for us after the fireworks, but that would have been really good if it was a sweltering hot day. If you would seen our Disneyland Paris vlog, we did this and I was hopeless. I've offered John to drive. He has not accepted. So, whatever happens, happens. Okay. What is wrong with me? Why, why can't I? What? This is. I feel like this. 
just uh, jet sort of. I'm not even messing. Yeah. Why can't I drive? Yeah. I want to be on the advice so that when we go on our road trip, I can <laughs> be part of this. What? Like, you need to okay, follow okay. the curve of the road. There we go. Oh no. 10 to 2, 10 to 2. Pass that a little smoothly through your hands. If I watch this, I would think I'm pulling your leg and that I'm just hamming it up. I'm actually this bad. Every three seconds. Hands off, it's better. Much better, yeah. I'm going to sleep so much better if the child next to me. We get on the inside. I'd say that was embarrassing, but I feel like I just did what I was expected of me. But there we go, see, she's having issues. I don't feel quite so alone. Harry, I did my best. I did not do a single corner without much clunkage. Never mind. I had a good time. John had a laugh. Everyone's a winner. Also, come on, we do need a Tomorrowland that has electric cars or something at least. The diesel fumes are getting to me. But that was a very short queue. Like 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe, to like being in and in the car. And I think for that ride, that is very good going because that has a really long queue. A lot of the day and the queue's outside and it's very hot. And Fumes. <laughs> Something nice and gentle as we draw to a close. Chapter one, in which Winnie the Pooh finds many things to do. Hey, I record audiobooks. I can actually get away with that. I'd be scared if I was a really little kid with my sensitive disposition. So I would definitely take a kiddo on a YouTube video of a on-ride point of view to make sure they're okay with it. Because Pooh has a bad dream and it's trippy. It's trippy as an adult. Three-year-old me was having a great time. Look at that. Hello. Hello. I would love to. Thank you so much. I have brought my lovely husband. His name is John. Hello. Hello. It's lovely to meet you. It's lovely to meet you as well. Yeah. Have you enjoyed your evening in the kingdom? We have loved it. Thank yes. you so much. Has there been any sign of my fairy godmother? There hasn't been. I haven't seen it anywhere. We saw Tinkerbell. Yeah. <laughs> we saw Tinkerbell. I hope you won't need a pumpkin carriage to get you home. Then. I know. We would really do well not to need that. Hopefully, Uber will suffice to get us back to our hotel. And be careful with those sensible slippers. Thank you. I know. I wanted to wear glass ones as I was wearing something that suggested myself. <gasps> wow. Those are lovely. Very nice. Well, we are from England. So. And uh, are you with a princess? I wish, but not. Um, my dad used to work for the equivalent. There is plenty of dresses here to keep you kitted out. We saw Cinderella's over there. And then this is. Elena of Avalor. So this is Disney's newest princess who we got to meet. Uh, oh my, look how cute that dress is. That is gorgeous. What size is that? <laughs> wow, it's literally done in inches. Extra, extra, extra small. I cannot believe that we managed to get Cinderella. Cinderella. <laughs> so I've said it too many times now, it's gone weird. We got to see Cinderella when I was Disney bounding as her. What? How could that happen? I can't believe it. We also got to meet the newest princess from the TV series Eleanor Avalor with a gorgeous red dress. But yes, not having been familiar with that content, I we were able to have a chat, but normally it's helpful to know a little bit about what questions you can ask, but both of them are really forthcoming. Because talking to princesses or any character can be really hard, and I think we managed well. That was a really nice positive interaction. Right, my love, I think it is time for that carousel. The one, I can't say the one that's done at all, because that is Snow White, but the carousel idea was what Walt saw his kid on, and then the idea of the park came from that, and that's, this is where we get to go, and, oh, I wonder if we can find Cinderella's horse. <gasps> oh, I think it's Cinderella's, unless I'm just now projecting anything to do with Cinderella. Oh, look at the castle. Look how beautiful it is. <laughs> Disney tip. The one with the roses. She's got a gold tail. It's Cinderella's horse. Ah! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. All of the things. All of the things. And you have a very lovely horse too. What a way to finish the night. This is so special. Oh, my goodness, the castle. Oh, my. This is magic. We enjoy 
enjoy that a lot. A lot, a lot. That was glorious fun. We have a fun photo of me dressed, Disney burning cinders on a horse. You can't get more than that, I don't think, for a day in Magic Kingdom. I'm not even a day, half a day in Magic Kingdom. So, I will leave you here. Stay with the magic and we'll pack up again tomorrow. We are going to be in Epcot. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a like. It lets me know and the algorithm know, which will then let other people know that this is content worth watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Leave me a friendly comment. I look forward to reading them. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And for myself and John, see you soon.